To stay updated, subscribe to TJA Academy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we are going to discuss the box Jenkin methodology, Arma and Arima modeling. Let's data speaks themselves. What does it mean? Unlike traditional regression model, Box Jenkins allows YT means particular series to be explained by the past or lag values of that series itself and the lagged values of error term which is uncorrelated random error term with zero means and constant variance that is a white noise error term. Here we have to understand the two things. Here AR means autoregressive. What is autoregressive model? In autoregressive model, the independent variables are all lagged dependent variable. There are no other independent variable. Means here is a yt is your dependent variable and yt minus 1 or yt minus 2 and two so on are the independent variable which are nothing but lagged values of dependent variable. There is no other variable in the model except this. And in more generalized form, we can write this model is yt is equal to this one yt minus 1, yt minus 2 up to yt minus p. The above model is called autoregressive model of order p like this. Here the value of p in this model here the value of p is 2 in above model like this. Here we have taken a maximum of the yt minus 2. So we can say that this is a r 2 model. The another term important term is ma. ma means moving average. What does it mean? A moving average model uses lag error term as independent variable like this here the dependent variable yt and these are the lagged error term up to qth order in above equation q different lagged error term are used as an independent variable t minus 1 t minus 2 up to t minus q independent variable y et et minus 1 through et minus q et minus 1 through et minus q are uncorrelated error term et this one et is the typical error term found in every regression and we assume it is not correlated with other error term moving average model are abbreviated maq ma means moving average q the order of moving average model Moving average model are abbreviated MAQ where Q is the number of lagged error term presents in the model. The name moving average comes from the fact that moving average of past error term these are the moving these term. The moving average of past error term with the mean of dependent variable this one with the mean of dependent variable. I repeat the name moving average comes comes from the fact that the moving average of past error term with the mean of dependent variable to produce a moving average of the dependent variable that is why the model is called moving average model. Now we are going to discuss the assumption of box Jenkins methodology. The first basic assumption is this methodology is based on the assumption that the time series variable any any variable under study is stationary. If the variable is not stationary when we have to take first difference to make variable stationary at first difference or integrated of order 1 or i1. Here we have taken us cpi data from 
2019 now what we have discussed for dogs jenkin methodology variable should be stationary if variable variable is not stationary then we have to take difference to make it stationary for this we can use traditional unit root test like adf now uh, we can apply adf test to find the stationarity condition of this particular variable so for this purpose go to view unit root test here level at the intercept and the hypothesis of unit root is the series is non stationary cpi is a unit root means series is not a stationary series and prob value shows that we are going to accept a null hypothesis and it is concluded that the series has a unit root and series is non stationary view unit root test again uh, we can check and trend and intercept okay here also we can see that the prob value is greater than 5% or 10% even so we can conclude the series is non stationary at level so when variable if variable is non stationary then we have to take first difference to make it stationary now again go to view unit root test mark first difference and intercept press okay so here the prob value is less than 5% or 0.05 and now we can reject our null hypothesis it means the variable is stationary at first difference for robustness we can also check in trend and intercept okay the value is also is less than 0.05 the conclusion is same that series is stationary at first difference now auto regressive moving average arma and auto regressive integrated moving average process now we are uh, going to basically understand the difference between arma and arima process as we have discussed that box jenkin method assumes that variable is stationary if this is the case then arma process will be used if variable is stationary then arima process will be used if variable is not stationary at level then we have to take difference either first or second difference here we assume that first difference we have taken here to make stationary or the variable is i1 or integrated of order 1 i repeat if variable is not stationary at level then we have to take difference to make it stationary then we are going to use arima process arima process will be used what does this arima means auto regressive integrated moving average this integrated shows th that we have taken some differences to make the variable stationary here arima pq p is auto regressive order q is moving average order here ARP and MAQ are used where P and Q are determined by PSEF partial auto correlation function we will discuss this later and ACF auto correlation function respectively i repeat where p order found with the help of partial auto correlation function 
and qth order found with the help of autocorrelation function. In ARIMA process, PDQ, P means order of autoregressive term, D means order of integrated, means how many difference you have taken to make variable stationary, and Q means uh, Qth order of MA model. Here, ARP integrated order shows with the help of D, and MAQ are used when PD and Q are determined by PSEF. P determined by PSEF. D is order of differencing that we have taken to make variable stationary and Q determined with the help of ACF respectively as we have discussed here. In short, if the variable is stationary, then ARMA will be used and if the variable is stationary after taking differences, then ARIMA process will be used. So, this is the first part of uh, ARMA and ARIMA modeling. In next video, we will discuss the steps with the help of e-views that is necessary for Bosch-Jenkins approach 